All right, number five. It says, consider a zipper having a zip line of length 5,297 feet, a vertical drop of 1,330 feet, uh, find its angle of depression. Okay, so um, the image that we get here, uh, we're just going to say, imagine that this is a ladder. Okay. I don't know, we don't really need a ladder. We've got some platform. And we've got a zip line, people going down a zip line. So a zip line is angled to come down. Um, we are told that the length of this zip line, this long line here, will be 5,297 feet. We're told that the vertical drops are going straight down from the top. So this side right here would be represented by 1,330, so this height here. And so you kind of see a right triangle. <clears throat> However, you also, they also want to know the uh, angle of depression. So the angle of depression, there's a lot of different ways you can think about this, but the angle of depression is always defined as coming down from the horizontal or going up from the horizontal. It's this angle of uh, elevation, so it would be up from the horizontal. So angle of depression is, is here. It's the horizontal from the zip line and then coming down, okay, so this angle. <clears throat> so all we have to do is kind of mirror this. This vertical distance will still be 1, 3, 3, 0. And this is my right angle, so either way you do it, you have a, a right angle. And from this angle, the sides that we have would be the opposite side and the hypotenuse. Okay. So <clears throat> opposite this angle, right across, and then the long side is the hypotenuse. So the trig function that uses opposite and the hypotenuse is sine. So sine of this angle theta is equal to opposite, which is 1330 over hypotenuse, which is 5297. All right, and then we need to do the inverse sign to get this off, so theta is by itself. So we have theta equals inverse sign, so I'm going to say arc sign, it's the same, of 1330 divided by 52. 97. Okay. So we're going to use the basic calculator and pull up the scientific function. All right. So we have to do this part first. I'm going to just go ahead and do parentheses and I'm going to do 1330 divided by 5297. And then we're going to close that up. And then we're going to do the trig function, and then the second inverse sign. So we get 14.54, and we want to round to the nearest tenth. So 14, 14.5, and 4 would not round up. So theta is approximately 14.5 degrees. So this one is another one similar to what we just did. It's hard to see the full picture here, but we have a staircase, and there's the image. They're showing you the length of the staircase, the diagonal, and then we're looking for the D distance on the bottom. So it just tells you she's framing the closet under the stairway. Um, it's 13 feet, 3 inches long. Uh, angle of elevation is 41. Find the depth. Okay, so the depth they're looking for is the length across the bottom, or how deep it will be. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and draw this triangle. I'm looking for D here. This is 41 degrees, and this is 13. Feet and three inches. Okay, three over twelve. Okay, <clears throat> look at the answer 
to waste the box. Yes, we want to find the depth of the closet in inches, I-N-C-H-I-N. So we need to convert. This is 13 feet 3 inches, 3 over 12, that's it. We're going to convert this to inches, okay? <clears throat> so we can do that by either just by multiplying by 12, or since I wrote it as a mixed number, 12 times 13, 156 plus 3 is 159. So this is 159 inches by 12. So this is the number of inches. Okay? You can just do this times 12, because there's 12 inches in each foot, and then add those three. So there's 159 inches in this, uh, the length. <clears throat> and so instead of writing this, I'm going to write this is equal to 159 inches. Based on this, we have this angle. The side that we're looking for is adjacent, and then this is hypotenuse. So adjacent and hypotenuse, that would be cosine. Cosine of 41 of that angle is equal adjacent over hypotenuse, which is going to be 159 inches. All right, to solve for D, we just need to multiply the 159, move it over. So 159 times cosine of 41 gives us D. All right, and then we're just going to compute this. All right, so when you're doing this with the calculator, you got to remember you have to do the uh, cosine part or the trig first um, before you multiply. It doesn't, <coughs> it doesn't do it correctly. Let me see if I can do it. I'm going to have to do 159 times, let's say, 41, and then we're going to do the cosine. Or 41, does it pick it up right? Yes, it does. Okay. So whenever you want to do the trig function, you have to type in the number first and then hit that trig function. And normally I mean just doing the trig function and then multiplying because the order in which you multiply doesn't matter. But this is what we get. And then you hit Enter. We want closest to the nearest inch. So we're on a whole number. So we have this in inches. All right, so we have 119.9. Now we'll round up, so we're going to say about 120 inches. Okay. So we get 120 is approximate depth. 120.